man. So this woman here, man, is going way off the mark. All right. For someone to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Arakakwadash. All right. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Only Begotten Son. Now, this person doesn't know what's going on. Um, they're so called preaching. With their, with their bubble butt, you know what I'm saying? Preaching with a bubble butt. Um, you know, wearing that which pertaineth unto a man, which is an abomination to the Lord, you know, in the scriptures. So I'm, I'm actually going to go to that real quick. Let's go to that. Um, let's just cut the middle man real quick. All right, so Deuteronomy 22 and verse number five, and then I'm going to go into the multitude of things as transgressions here. Deuteronomy 22 and 5, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord Yahweh thy power. So that's the equivalency of me putting on a dress um, and bringing out, you know what I'm saying, the scriptures or whatever the case is, right? What the hell is that fucking shit? Oh, it's right here. All right. So that's like me getting in a dress, putting on the scriptures. Doing the scriptures now. Also, she's not supposed to be preaching as a woman or teaching men out there, you know, and evangelizing to men like that. No one you know, can get her, to the look, that's a big butt, man. You can't be running around preaching with that big old ass out, man. See, the most high ain't dealing with no Jesus Christ spirit because Jesus Christ is a lawless demon and allows women to do whatever they want to do and they don't got to abide by the scriptures they just got to believe to say they believe really because if you believed you'd actually repent you wouldn't be doing that see what i'm saying this pretty ass girl don't need to be need to be doing this shit I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find i'm trying to find another shot besides her butt but everywhere it goes like they following her butt okay there we go all right, so let's look, she looks sincere, right? But she's sincerely going off. She looks sincere, but she's sincerely going off because the scriptures talk about, I suffer not a woman to teach. Now you may be thinking, um, oh, well, that's just basically, you know, that's only talking about back then. That's their argument, right? You know, but let's go to it. <clears throat> this is um, 1 Timothy um, 2 and 12. It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to, but to be in silence, man. To be in silence. Does it look like this woman's in silence? Let's click play. Okay. So there you go. It's always on her butt. I'm not trying to do that. Man, yo, they just keep following this girl's butt. That's All right, there we go. So this girl right here um, is clearly going off. Now we go to the scripture. Um, right here. Uh, we got that one, and when, like I said, I went to Second Timothy or First Timothy, chapter number two, and verse number twelve it says, "But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. So that woman is, um, she's a weaker vessel. So here on the earth, the Lord's going to use the strongest vessel." To go bring the scriptures, and that's a man. And for order's sake as well, because, you know, that's just what it is. It just said it. You know what I mean? Can we go to 1 Corinthians 14? All right. In 34, it says, let your woman keep silence in the churches. And that means the gathering of believers, the churches. Because remember, the scripture says, Howbeit that the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. So the people back then knew that the Lord wasn't in some temple. 
He was with the believers that were walking around together, gathering together. You know, because there's a scripture also that says the church was gathered in their house, in somebody's house. How could the church be in a building if the church was gathered inside of somebody's house? <laughs> the church is the people, man. It's ecclesia. It was called out ones, man. You're the church. And people don't understand that. Yeah, you got to attend church. No, that's your motto. That's your that's your evil belief system. See? So it says, let your woman keep si your women keep silence in the churches. Now, what does silence mean? I can't believe I gotta look up the definition of it. But you know, they need it. Some people need to, they just need this, man. Let's see it. Keep silence. Strong's G 4601. Sigao. Sigao. All right. Keep silence. Keep silent. Secret. Silence. Hold peace. Be concealed. To be kept in silence. <laughs> I mean, you really got to break it down to people? It's just crazy. Segaho. Segaho. You go up to a woman, hey, Segaho. Segaho. <laughs> Verse 35, it says, now Salakia says, um, let your women keep silence in the churches. First, this is the verse 34, 1 Corinthians 14 and 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law. And now those italicized words were kind of added in, but it's the meaning. So it says, but to be under obedience as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. And again, the gathering of believers. It says, what came the word of the Most High out from you? Or came it unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things I, that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. See? There you go, brothers. So, you know, Big Butt over there, she's out of order. You know, she's completely out of order, man, you know? See, look, she like she's talking sincerely, man, but it's just she again, she's sincerely wrong. That's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Where's the Bible? She don't even got the Bible out. She's just yelling. She's just yelling because she's seen this on YouTube. So she's like, hey, record me as I do what I do. You know what I mean? Record me because I'm about to start preaching. Like, but tell everybody Jesus is the way, he's the truth. He's, he did this for me and you. And, you know, you got to repent. And I don't even think she said that, but she just said, you got to believe and blah, blah, blah. How desperate are you to reach the lost in the gospel of Christ? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> this is crazy, man. Look at this madness. Jesus Christ saved my life in my bedroom two years ago when I cried out to him, battling with crippling anxiety and depression and addiction. Man, listen, that girl's butt so big, there's no depression and there's no anxiety on this woman's part. I'm going to tell you right now, she get anything she want. So today, I'm speaking to people. Look how, look, look how big that butt is, man. Come on, man. And I'm not even trying to look. This, this is what she putting out there, man. She putting this out here. Everywhere she go to preach the gospel, she got some tight ass pants on. You know what I mean? Look at this shit. What is this bullshit, man? See? See, the Lord ain't dealing with this shit, man. I bet you, you got your boobs out. And I'm also going to read from Matthew, verse 26, 26 to 28. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread. And after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples. See, these are the things that they were doing back in the church of Corinth, man. You see what I'm saying? They were letting women like this do this. And said, take, 
eat. This is my body. See, what she don't understand is that you're supposed to listen to the word of the Lord. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. You're not listening to the word of the Lord. You're not eating of the bread. You don't really believe. You know what I mean? You don't even care. You just don't even care. So like, you know what I mean? So the Lord ain't going to care when you get destroyed. Again, no Bible. Can you sent my friend. He died. He lived a perfect life. And he died a gruesome death on a cross. He was beaten. He was disfigured. He was bruised by a beautiful woman in the hood. So that you could be reconciled to God, your creator, despite having a but that that's but you purposely rebelling against them now. You you might not even be an Israelite. You know what I mean? You're probably just a damn Medamite. But you know, never know. But still, it's just just ridiculous. This is this is against completely against the scriptures, and she's not even bring, <laughs> she's not even bringing out the scriptures, man. You know, and what what what's the scripture say, man, about that? Um, Isaiah eight and twenty to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. Yeah, so she's not bringing out the scriptures, and you no, know, the scripture says, "I allow not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man." She looks in a very authoritative position there, man. Very authoritative. Look at her. Look at how she's talking. Watch the authority she's talking with. See, she again, she's going off on the scriptures. There's no eternal damnation as far as going to hell. These Christians believe in hell, man. I guarantee you this girl believes in hell, man. And imagine trying to date this girl, man. You can't talk to her about nothing, man. She's going to want you to put a ring on it on the government system. You know what I mean? She probably slept with over, you know, 90 guys. Maybe more than that. Which if she repented, then she repented. But again, she needs, she needs to repent of her fake repentance. Or her ignorant repentance. This is not really repentance. Repentance would be being in order. She's not. You see? In order would be she'd be under her husband and she'd be at home covered up. And um, put a dress over that big bubble butt, man. For real. Don't be walking around with men's shoes. You probably got men's shoes on, more than likely. Wearing some strange t-shirt. You know what I mean? Just going off, man. He gave you a way out. He became your ticket to heaven. And he said, I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. And no one, no one, no one can come to the throne except through me. Yo, who's that person who's following her, man? That's weird as hell, man. I don't even know what that is. What is that? The Jesus to follow the Jesus. <laughs> All right, brothers. Hey, man. This a wrap, man. This person here, man. This these Christian women. They're just a wrap, man. You know that's the, the Lord is gonna destroy these people, man. The very things that they're warning of, man. The Lord's gonna do that to them. 
You know, just be grateful that we got the true name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, repent and believe in the true gospel, man. Repent of Christianity. Repent of Jesus Christ. Jesus is just not the way or the truth or Christ. All right. It's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the way. All right. <laughs> Hamashayak. He's the deliverer. His name means he's the deliverer, not Jesus. Earth pig. All right. Iosus Christos. That's bullshit. That's fabricated. It allows women to preach in the, in the churches. You know what I mean? Out in the, in the, and usurp authority over the man when the scriptures say that's not supposed to happen. He's supposed to keep silence, man. That's, and it, just, if you understand that, what Paul said, and it's corroborated by Peter, that was the wisdom that he writes in his novels or in his, uh, in his letters, rather. All right. There was a witness. Peter to it and um you know he said that his his word was the law his word was the commandment of the Lord he commanded you man and and you women to keep silent if you really believe you keep silent you wouldn't be doing this shit we're the progress and he says believe in me wholeheartedly he says believe in me and repent from your sin he says turn away from this destructive world and follow me and my you see how she said in righteousness you know she's basically taking the 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 role of the black man the so-called black christian pastor you know who's supported by the old school black woman in these christian churches which is really perpetuated and funded by esau edom the so-called white man who allows that they pump money into the christian churches because they know that that's not the way and the more that you believe that shit, the more you're going to be going off from the Lord. You know what I mean? And that extends their rulership, man. <laughs> it's a scheme. It's a plot, man. You're going to be lost. Look at this girl. That looks like authority. She's claiming and proclaiming things. and You're not supposed to be doing that shit. The scriptures talk about a foolish woman is clamorous. You know? She's, she's, a, she's a clamorous woman. This is a loud mouth woman that needs to sit down and shut up and be quiet, man. And with that, hey, Shalom, man. You know, repent and believe in the gospel, man. Shalom.